Hello guys, my name is Asmarant, and yes, I'm back with another video, and this is the uh, the pass, uh, the press pass. Um, I'm gonna give you the highlights, the top highlights of what the press pass was. So I'm gonna explain it through you bit by bit. Um, so just to give you like an understanding, uh, because a lot of them was talking about um, Aaron Rodgers, um, Trey Lance, of course, and um, some other bits and bobs and sort of, uh, sort of stuff like that. So uh, I've written a few notes down to tell you what the big, like the biggest highlights was from that uh, the uh, the press pass. So a lot of them were saying, first of all, was to Shannon Han and Lynch. When would you? Uh, when did you start looking for a quarterback? And who was your uh, either main choice or top three? And Shanahan first went off saying, um, when they're out of the regular season, they sort of took time off, but um, John and Carl knew that they had to find a um, a quarterback. So they took some time off to chill a bit and to think which they were going to get. And I was watching the college like football throughout the videos on YouTube and other clips and so forth. And it sort of started from there. Um, he was saying that um, it was happened around the January timeline uh, uh, um, to look for one, and they were dead on. Um, they were just dead on Trey Lance. They were dead on Trey from the get go. Uh, they took a consider uh, consider uh, consideration into Matt Jones, um, but they were saying um, um, he was good. He was really good. But he didn't fit our like strategy or build from what they wanted, so that was sort of like on like what they were saying. Um, but so yeah, as soon as by day one they were looking for everything. Trey Lance, straight there. Trey, we're gonna have him because um, they thought they would dig like the, I thought the press were trying to get a dig at him, saying you know about because the, the whole um, speculation on. Social media, um, press or papers or whatever. Um, Matt Jones, we're in, like, we're interested. We're interested, and they were like, they looked, they were sort of interested, but it it just didn't fit. Um, they weren't interested that much to put him on the team, obviously. So Trey looked at Lance, and Trey Lance was the guy. Um. Yep, they saw Trey, um, and they loved what they saw. They saw, uh, Shanahan was saying, he saw the clips of him being good, of him being bad, what we can build upon, the skills he's got, and so forth. Um, explained to the press, that's why um, he's great in the 49ers family. He's great for that team, because we can teach him a few things, or it, it's basically stuff like that. You know what can he bring to the table? They see what he, um, they see what he can bring to the table, but um, what else can he deliver? Is there anything else? Like anything secretive or anything like that? But other than that, they saw the goods, they saw the bads, and they're gonna work from him on that. So yeah, um, um, Shanahan was saying stuff about that. Um, um, it's mad because in like a year of football in a small sort of like college sort of area that he, um, he was in apparently um, his skills are quite unique and you know I think they were saying or I think in the news they were saying about um, he was um, uh, they tried to make him play different um, a different position which I didn't which is really bizarre I, want, I, I don't know why a coach or a person will just tell you that if you're a quarterback then fine you're a quarterback if you're a tackle if you're a guard if you're you know if you're a punter doesn't matter you are who you are and Trey Lance says Lance said I am a quarterback done and there you go um, and there you go sorry UDSU straight in and then he kicked ass and well here we go we've got him so yeah, they were talking about that. Um, and someone brought up about Jimmy G versus Lance. Um, yeah, they were shocked about Jimmy G versus uh, you know the Jimmy G and Lance. Can he um, deliver sort of thing, um, which was pretty bizarre, um, and I didn't understand why. 
So yeah, the uh, the press was all over that, all over everything. Um, very, 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 very bizarre. Um, so the basic thing was, a lot of press were trying to get out what it interrupt, like Jimmy G. Would he stay? Would he go? Sort of thing. And Shanahan just put it on him straight, and he said, "Look, listen, Jimmy G is our guy. He's the twenty twenty one start of the season done." It will be a shame for him not to turn up Sunday to see him, to learn from him, like them who can learn off each other and so forth. It will be a shame. That's what he said. It'll be upset if he doesn't turn up. Very upset. And that's from Shanahan. Same with Lynch. It'll be guttering because, you know, as Shanahan said, all right, the ups, it was consistent. It's got you to, you know, he got us to a Super Bowl uh, for Christ's sake. He got you there. The only sad bit is he's just injury. Last year it just it just took him off. You know what I mean? It was it, it, he was done for Christ's sake. Finish out the season, and this is why Trey like you know his contract slowly coming up, finishing, which sort of put everyone on edge because he might tra like you know he wants to trade. He's want to stay, but they don't want him like gone. They want you know he is our starting quarterback. Trey comes in, learn from each other, you never know, they might do, um, on the off-season, you know, they might do in August, um, one plays first half, one plays second, or he plays a whole game, second game, Trey, you just don't know, but they're saying he's your starting quarterback no matter what, and it'll be a sad shame for him not to turn up Sunday and see, you know, and just meet him, and that's what Shanahan was saying, and he felt, you know, proper deep, like, he said it how it is. So yeah, um, so that was guttering really, and that's what you were saying about that. Lynch um, was, you know, excited than anyone else. Um, he loved phoning him because um, he thought Trey might have had a a um, like a hitch that he he knew he was getting drafted by them, but he didn't, and he made it like more fun that you're coming over to us and so forth. So yeah. Um, John didn't really say much, it was more on Shanahan, and the final bit, the Packers, um, and Rodgers, there were a lot of teams speculating, Raiders, Chargers, um, even him, he called up, you know, is the MVP actually leaving, and then Packers were saying no, it's not happening, he's gonna, like, they're staying, they're gonna keep him as here, they're doing the best for him, and the way that it looks as well on this media front, he don't want to stay. They're trying to cut his salary, like they're trying to cut his money because of the salary cap, but he wants an extension. So that's a whole new thing. And that's what John was saying, but the quickest answer was no. So there you go. That was the quick highlights. Sorry, it wasn't even more on that. But leave your comments. You tell me what was the um, your um, favourite highlight on there. Or what do you think could change? What could Trey bring to the table? Will Jimmy G leave? Will he stay? Will he be there Sunday? It's another thing. Um, yeah. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think down below. And um, thanks for watching. Subscribe. I'll be doing a lot more 49ers news. And um, I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.